how you do under pressure, oh Yeah, I've been wanting this shit forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw on me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving all of the better Okay, hey. yeah. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy Walk with me, you know that I got it Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it boom, boom. Baby, I'm not one of them, you should try on it Miss me with all that I'm on it in deck With this up, I'll send you back to your ex But good luck with that, this is as big as it gets So for you guys that don't know We are on our way to Sealy Lake, Montana We got Captain Tolly here And we got Brian He's taking over Paul's spot Because Paul total this sled if you haven't seen that video i'll have it linked above you'll see it we're going to seal the lake we got a proven progression advanced clinic coming up we're stoked a little nervous because snow hasn't been good haven't been been doing that much riding but either way we're stoked we're gonna have a freaking good time we'll see you guys in montana <laughs> here you totally got the, the bunk bed brian has the bottom look at this dude <laughs> dude yeah i saw him over there look there's three of them four freaking guys dude all right we're off to the mountains for day one the snow conditions don't look the best right now and it might be raining later but i guess we'll we'll see when we get there we just went over a beacon check avalanche safety all that stuff now we're meeting on the trail and we got about 10 miles of trail right to go let's go made it to the warming hut it's getting hot making our way into whatever zone Just trying to get up to some better snow and there's a lot of rocks in this spot and there's wind blowing so let's go totally having some steering post possible issues the steering post pretty loose so a little bit concerning <laughs> There's no warming up here, boys. Go straight into it. And I'm winded already. We got a good stuck down there, I think. I think we're trying to go up there, maybe, or drop into there. No idea. We're in pretty steep stuff, boys. <laughs> obligated to do any practice sessions so if you don't want to you don't have to but during these practice sessions is when I can give real-time feedback I normally video it so if you get up you can come watch the video with me and I'll point out what happened I don't have any problem if you guys just want to rally but if you want to learn you know take that extra time to come over and watch the video with me to see what you're doing wrong <laughs>
but I do like to touch on a few tips and tricks um, for what I would consider advanced side hilling and side hilling through tight trees like this. Um, so intermediate riders, I teach them to have their foot back on the running board if they want to bring their front up, have their foot forward on the running board if they want to bring their front down. That is true, um, but as an advanced rider, you should be learning to control um, your side hilling in a wheelie. All of the new sleds have a lot of ski lift and you're constantly wheeling in a side hill. I initiate that uphill turn by laying the sled over, counter steering a little bit, turn into the hillside when I want to turn uphill, kind of initiating the balance point of the sled being on this side to the other side. When I do that, the outside of my leg is also going into the seat. So that's what I was talking about, having your weight go neutral. You're still wrong foot forward, but now your upper body weight is over the gas tank. Um, something I do all the time is I'm moving my upper body weight all over the sled, regardless of where my feet are. So you get some leverage from the outside of your knee on the seat. This foot comes back and a little bit behind you but not so much that your hips start opening up the wrong direction because it makes it impossible to hop if you get that rotation out like this. So you're coming back just a little bit and your torso is more or less pivoting around the seat, not necessarily hopping. Obviously it looks a lot different because I'm standing on a sled that's sitting on flat, but the idea is not to bring your knees to your chest because it takes a lot of effort and it's awkward and it's easy to get tangled up, but rather pivot back. Awkward, but made it. Yeah. 
I did not know we were climbing that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Caleb, do we gotta go down this? No. That's good. <laughs> I don't know how you went through here. <laughs> <laughs> I went straight down there. Let's see you later, Slash. Yeah. No way. No way would that even cross my mind. Same. <laughs> I can get out, but it's gonna keep going. I didn't want to hit the tree. I'd rather do this. Thank you. That's nuts. That's crazy, dude. That is so much air.
make out with my sled. <laughs> come to an end. What's our thoughts so far? A lot. It's, it's, it's alright. <laughs> it was fun, but I'm wore out, that's for sure. Yeah, we're all freaking tired. Good day, though. Yeah, for sure, good day. And uh, off to day two. See you guys next time. I right, pause it. Second time, and it bent that one. <laughs> Crazy. Oh,